Hey guys, how's it going? Today I just want to do a quick review for you on the Astro Pro 1200 3-in-1 Blender. Um, now I should mention before we get started that I actually found a pretty good deal on this blender. And I'll throw a link in the description below for you guys so you guys can check that deal out. So if you're looking for a kind of like one of those all-in-one 3-in-1 systems, this is the perfect one in my opinion. I absolutely love it. And for the money, you can't beat this thing. Um, it comes with three attachments. It's got your standard blender uh, jar, obviously. The glass one that every blender comes with. Uh, it's got the, f the um, food processing attachment for it. So you can use it pretty much like a Cuisinart you know, food processor. And it has the, the, um, the jar for the smoothies the little ones that you can just do a single smoothie or whatever you want to blend in a single cup thing so it kind of knocks out three machines in one and for under 100 bucks um unbelievable for the value oster uses a really good uh, duralast motor in it it's got a 10-year warranty on it and it's very powerful um is it going to be as powerful as your vitamix not really but honestly it'll do 90% of what the Vitamix will do. You won't get a true liquefied state with uh, smoothies and things like that. You can't really do soups in it. But honestly, that's a $500 blender I'm comparing it to, so it's pretty silly to do that. Um, I will say, though, that for just standard blending tasks, this thing works unbelievably well. It does. It is more powerful than your standard cheapo $50 blenders, definitely. It's noticeably better. Like I said, it's 1,200 watts, so that's very, very powerful. Um, the Ninja Blenders are still only around 900 to 1,000, so this is even more powerful than that. The blade works really well. It's uh, you got a dual direction blade in it, so they kind of spin the opposite ways. And it, what it does is, um, I don't know if you ever found in certain blenders, you turn it on and it it kind of doesn't mix everything very well. It's just like stuff will get stuck near the top. This one will just kind of make sure it won't do that. It'll fling everything around and make sure it blends absolutely everything inside the container, which is really cool. I've had like no problems at all um, pulverizing uh, like things like kale, spinach. Um, it will do that, uh, which is rare for a blender of this price. It will, because most blenders can't do green leaves very well. And this one absolutely can for smoothies or shakes. Whatever you want to do, it's very impressive. Anyway, if you have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.